Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the reverse substring between each pair of parentheses problem from Lead Code and the number for this is 1190. So in the given problem, we are having a string S that consists of lowercase English letters and also consists of brackets. So what we have to do, we have to reverse the string in each pair of matching parentheses starting from the innermost one and then going on the outermost ones. And the result should not contain any brackets. So what we have to do in this problem, we have to reverse the substrings that are enclosed within the like enclosed within the parentheses and we have to start from the innermost ones and go to the outermost like uh, we would do in a match equation like first we solve the inner brackets then we solve the outer brackets so in that way we have to do the reverse of the strings inside that, that parentheses so the nested nature of this parenthesis suggests that there can be a recursive approach to the problem as well. But uh, coming before to coming to the approach, let's see the examples first. So the first example is pretty simple. There is there is only one parenthesis, so the entire string is reverse inside the parenthesis and the brackets are removed. Now if we see the last example, so first of all this inner parenthesis will be solved. So this OC will become CO, then this it uh, ETCO it becomes this string become ETCO, and then when we'll solve for the entire one it becomes lead code. If you see, for this example, uh, suppose the second example we have a string U, then inside bracket we have love and then we have I. So first of all, the love will change to evolve because it is inside the para, uh, in, it is the innermost parenthesis then the string becomes u evolve i and when we reverse the entire string it becomes i love you so we are going to uh, the idea is to treat the problem by breaking down uh, it uh, into rever recursively and whenever we try to encounter an opening parenthesis we recursively solve for the substring until we get the closing parenthesis and then we will simply reverse the substring and then continue so let's see the step so first of all uh, the first step is to initialize a pointer with an index 0 because we need an uh, index to traverse in the string the next step is traversal so what we are going to do whenever we encounter an opening parenthesis we recursively call the function helper function we what we are going to create uh, on the inner substring and when a closing parenthesis is in encountered that means we have reached the end of a, a string inside parenthesis so what we'll do we have to reverse that substring so simply reverse that substring and return it to the previous recursion call so it will be uh, returned to the previous recursion call and then the solution uh, solves for the previous recursion call as well and at the last we have to simply return the reverse substring as a final result so let me explain you for this example you love i so first of all three character bracket is encountered so a new recursion stack is developed then we have u so u is appended in the substring then again another uh, opening bracket is encountered so again another uh, another query is added in the recursion stack so now all the characters l o v e will be appended one by one as the counter increases so love is added in the substring of the this particular depth of two particular recursion call and when as soon as this first bracket ending bracket is reached so this love is reversed into evolve and returned to the previous recursion call which was of depth 1 so in the previous if you remember the substring was u so now the substring becomes u plus evolve and then in the next step so the sub the character is i so i is appended to the u plus evolve plus i so it becomes u evolve i and then as soon as we reach the ending brackets we reverse the entire string and return it as the answer so this is how we are going to solve it so 
let's come to the coding section but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel so for this we would need a global global variable or a counter to maintain the index you also need a character array because we will convert the string to character array that will be easy for us to access it and then we can simply call on the helper function so we have to write the helper function now so public this will return a string helper will take a character array as input let's take a string builder object because string builder object are easy are easy to reverse and append characters so that's why I, I will take a string builder object here so string builder has been equal to new string builder now while i is less than <coughs> so s dot length it should be within the bounds of the string so if s of i equal equal to a closing bracket what we have to do we have to do a i plus plus and we have to add it to we have to return it by reversing it first so first reverse it sp dot reverse dot to string to the previous recursion call else if else if the s of i is equal equal to a opening bracket then in that case we'll again do i plus plus and we have to start a new recursion for this you have to call a new recursion so a new recursion call on the string and this is added as well the whatever is returned by the next recursion call will be appended in this particular so call so this is added in that and the else part we have to simply append the characters so sb dot append s of i i plus plus and we can return from here return sb dot to string So let's try to run it. So here is the mistake. Let me check once what is the error. So this is not s dot two string. This is s b dot two string. Sorry for the error. So yeah, you see the passes the sample test cases. Let's try to run for the hidden test cases as well. So passes the hidden test cases as well with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity. So the time complexity for this solution is o of n. Where n is the length of the string, we are traversing the string only once, so you can see. And the space complexity is also often because we are using a string builder. 
uh, string builder instance that's why you can also check the c++ and python solution by going into the solutions panel and check this solution this one this is my solution here you can find the intuition approach complexity step by step explanation the code that is in java c++ python and uh, yes do remember to upload the solution do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel so i hope you understood the logic thank you for watching the video have a nice day